folks, AT Treasure Hunter here. Just trying this area. Just down by the river. City's in that direction. There's the massive gateway bridge and Brisbane port in that direction. All right, plane taken off. Time to get hunting. See you on the first day. This is a strong 3031. I've lifted it and I can see it in there. It's another lock. The lock run continues. There we are. Not an old one. All right, moving that on. It's coming up 20. I don't know if that's a one cent. It's a little bent out of shape. Um, it could well be. I'm gonna have to clean it up, but I'll put it down as a one cent. If it's something else, I will show you. Well, this one, solid 21. It looks like we've got ourselves another one cent. The other one I'm pretty confident is one that's got the same diameter, so. Okay, I wonder if there's any pre-decimals here. <laughs> Better uh, have a good look. Getting the older coins, so it's possible there is something here. Well, I've got an 18 down there. It could well be an old coin. 17. 18. I see a little uh, silvery colour. It's just there. Oh no, it's not an old coin. Oh no, it's one of those. <laughs> I've got a million of these. What were they used for? I don't know, but uh, I find lots of them at the beaches. All right, moving on. Well, just out of that hole, this was coming up a 10. I think that is a bullet. I'm pretty sure it's a bullet. Yeah, I'm sure get that into focus it's not easy so yeah got a bullet well, this looks like the third two cent just getting onto these older ones we don't use anymore but so far no pennies or silvers surely we're gonna get one today well I think I've got something pretty special here look at this no it's not a Australian gold coin Look at that. I can read Anzac. I wonder if that's old or uh, a modern one. Let's have a look. Well, that's lovely. That's really, really nice. It's got some sun on it. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's clean it up. Well, I've cleaned the front. It looks nice. It's still got the pin attached. How old it is, I don't know. Well, I've just cleaned the dirt off it. It's got $5 on it, so it's got to be modern. Anywhere from 1966 onwards. I'd say more recent. But uh, yeah, what a great find. Very happy to have got that one. Just gonna try this park down by the river. See what's here. Brisbane City's over there. The port's on that side. It's a reasonable sized park, this one. It's in an old area, so sure there's got to be something here we'll have a look see what's around hopefully some goodies and there you have the city cat they've reduced transport fares now you can jump on that for only 50 cents so it's really good in Brisbane 50 cent fares for the next six months 
doesn't matter how far you're going, you can go 100k, 50 cents, it's brilliant. Now look at this one. Solid 23. I think I just found something special. That looks like a little love heart locket. And it may well be silver. That's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful find. I'll just clean it up and see if we can find any markings on it. Well, I've just given that one a wash. It is 925 silver. You might be able to just make it out there. So it's a lovely, lovely find, that one. Really, it's beautiful. Stunning piece. Now that little thing was coming up 23. It was really nice signal. Um, looks like it was on a chain or something. Um, probably not silver, but anyway, a little more interesting than the uh, bottle tops have been digging up. So um, yeah, okay, moving on. Well, this is where I'm hunting at the moment. Just found that little piece of jewelry. Hard to believe it's winter at the moment. It's such a beautiful day, 25.6 Celsius. That's 78 Fahrenheit. Look at that tree over there. It's so big. That's, oh, it's probably the, the width of two cars. It's huge. All right, back to hunting. Coming up 15, and it looks like we have an old 50 cent coin. Been down there a while, I believe. Yep, okay, moving on. Well, these last few weeks I've been on an incredible run of blocks. Here's another one. Oh, <laughs> what's going on? So many locks in the parks. Well, there are just signals everywhere here. Just looking for something solid in the good target range. Well, this one is 17. I can see something shiny attached to this. Let's have a look. All right. Yeah, a little bit of um, jewelry there. It's pretty cool. It's light, but um, yeah, good find. There's a better view of the city. City cat coming in. And just in the background there, that is the Story Bridge. It's an awesome bridge, beautiful. I think it was built around 1920s from memory, somewhere around there. And the city skyline, well, part of it, it's a pretty big city. Okay, back to hunting. Well, I'm just walking along. And I didn't even get it with the detector. I just saw something shiny. And that's what it is. Now, I, I think that's gold. It's really, uh, it's got the right numbers. It's got a good weight to it. 
I think Ooh. it's gold. I don't see any markings, but if I take a closer look, it may well be there. That really has the look and feel of gold, guys. That's a beauty. And I wonder if it's been hit by a lawnmower or something. So it's just sitting on the surface. I don't see any other little bits to it, but uh, it's definitely been broken off. So yeah, it's, uh, I'll definitely put my money on gold on that one. I'll have to get it tested. Um, maybe there's a number on it. I'll uh, have a little look later, but that is a cracking fine. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm just by the curb. This was coming up at 22. It's not a $1 coin, it's a token. I believe it's, uh, I thought I read car wash. I'll just clean it up and see exactly uh, what we've got here. Well, there you have it. High-tech car cleaners car wash centre, 1999. Well, that's my first car wash token. Pretty happy to get one of those ones. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Something different, always good. Well, this was coming up a solid 25 and it was pretty close to the surface. It was, yeah, pretty much uh, that was it, just under there. And uh, what we have is Brisbane City, 1958. It might say 1930 under there and it's got council. So Brisbane City Council. I'll just quickly clean it up. Well, I've just given it a, a nice clean. You can see Brisbane City. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is from 1958. It is made of aluminium. Now, I don't know the significance of that number. It's 4930. I thought it might be a postcode uh, because Brisbane postcodes start with a four. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a postcode uh, with that number. So that I'm not sure. Now, what was this uh, attached to? I really don't know. Maybe someone out there has an idea. But anyway, look, that's a great find. Uh, 1958, what's that? 42, 62, 66 years old. So, yeah, great little find, that one. All right, moving on. Well, we've got a surface find here. I wonder if that's slightly buried or just sitting there like that. That's how I found it. Let's have a look. All right. Yeah, looks like it's uh, someone's chain has broken off. All right, good day. Just by the tree. Got a 10. I can even see it down there. Just there. Five cents surface fine right there's a few little targets here good little spot hopefully there's um, some more interesting stuff fantastic well this tree is big big and old i would have thought uh, kids would have been playing around here well i've just taken 20 cents out of the hole and i went over and there's another one in there there's a 50 I was hoping I might find some pre-decimals because I know these trees. Kids love to play around them years ago. So doesn't mean there's not one around here. We'll, we'll keep looking. I've just started, so it's a very good sign. Uh, let's keep going. Just working my way around the side of the tree. Yeah, somewhere about there. Okay, let's give it a dig. Just get the pinpointer first. Be nice if there was a, an old coin down there. Okay, I'll just get the digger. Don't see anything. We're close.
Right, a little bit deep. Oh, is that a can? It might be a can. Hang on. What is that? What is that? Well, that's part of it. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, what could that be? I'll just um, have a look for whatever else is down there and see if we can work out what this is. If not, I'll see you on the next dig. Well, the other bit was just a rusty old nail. Really not sure what that is. What was it a part of? Maybe someone out there knows. If you do know, please leave a comment. Cheers. Like a one cent. One cent it is. All righty, moving on. Welcome back, folks, to the back of the car wrap up. Well, look what we got, three days worth of fines. Now that's all the junk. Uh, I've thrown a lot in the bin and there's just too much here. Look at that, it's, it's high. Now you can see there's a lot of bottle caps and pull tabs in there. I'm digging those because I am looking for gold rings and you've got to dig those numbers uh, anywhere from you know your nines and tens all the way up to 15 plus on the Equinox 800, you're gonna find your gold rings. They can go as high as 20, maybe higher, um, but generally I, I find they stop at 20. So yeah, there's a lot of metal in there. Um, yeah, there was an, the inhaler that I picked up. Might as well throw that in the bin. Uh, lock, part of a lock there, another lock. That's a hinge. A lot of these I did not film. An old hinge from something, maybe a door or something. Um, and yeah, the coins, look, there's a lot of coins. All the coins over here from there, all through there. That was the very first day I really scored. Um, these are your $2 coins. There was, I counted, $27.00. 76 just on the first day alone so it was a cracking day uh you got your 10 cent coins these are fives the old two cent coins six of them and the one cent a few of them were down the beach that one's a, quite a thin one so we've got two four seven eight nine one cent coins uh, this was a i think that's just like a for the wrist but it's quite wide um you know i put it on and I don't know, it could be for a, a bigger person, much bigger than me. That's loose. Um, I don't think that's for the neck. So there you go. Quite a little uh, nice piece there. And um, just take that off. I love this one. Look at that. What a fine that one is. That could have some age to it, I've been told. Um, I haven't been able to confirm, but it's a beautiful, beautiful little um, love heart uh pendant i believe that might have come from a, a belcher chain and yeah the um remembrance day remember the anzac soldiers that's probably fairly recent actually um it just looks so modern i'd say you know it's probably you know a year or two old so it's not um old but uh you know it's really really nice and what a score this was. I mean, just sitting there on the surface, it doesn't get much easier than that. Now, I, I've just weighed that. That is 1.89 grams of gold. Um, it's going to be Indian gold. I've found it before, and often it's not marked. And one of the pieces I just had recently tested was 21K. So I know from experience... You don't always have the gold marking. So, yeah, that, that's nice. Um, and, yeah, this is quite the fine. I really like that one, the Brisbane City Council tag. That's an awesome little tag. And, yeah, these are the coins from the second and third day combined. Little, uh, it's probably a bracelet. Could be a from a necklace or something. But, um, that's pretty cool. There's a marble. Didn't film that. Now, that one is a gold member brisbane lions uh, i think i saw 2021 in there can't 
sort of get it at the moment but that's a good find uh, gold member <laughs> i wonder if i can use it so that's for for our australian football team afl so uh, yeah that's a really nice find so those are the finds. Um, look, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers and thank you for the, all the subscribers that uh, watch the channel and leave comments. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you so much. See you next time.